What's one way that we can kind of observe this? So Yogi Berra, one of my favorite, you know, minds in the world, you can observe a lot just by watching, okay? And we don't do enough watching in terms of being entrepreneurial, right? We tend to think about entrepreneurship as doing, as going out there, being tenacious and gritty and doing those things rather than actually watching. So this is a company that I worked with called Sugared Spoon. Okay, and what they do is um, when people have lots of different types of medications to take, they sometimes will forget because some medications they have to take three times a day, some that's once a day, some's twice a day only with food. And when those start, things start to add up, people forget to take their medication. So this is a company a couple years ago that put together um, a, a company that would help people take their medicine. Okay, so we're going to watch a really short video of a usability test that Sugared Spoon prepared uh, when they were trying to test out their MVP. Okay, so the first thing he's trying to do is set up and sign up. Dot com, choose a password. Uh, eight, confirm password. Eight, in what year were you born? 1940. Sign up. A time zone field is required. Oh, where is, where do I put a time zone? It's 1940 is the time. This is crazy. When do you want to take metoprolol tartrate? Once a day. At, uh, let's see, how about 4.15 p.m.? Finish. Reminders are being sent to you by email, so I guess it worked. So we have this sweet, sweet man who is trying to use this product. What are we noticing? Too complicated. Too complicated. Yeah, what else? He's not, He's not computer literate as much. What else? Yeah, there's too much information. He's not the right customer segment, right? Either we need to change our customer segment or we keep the same customer segment and we change the product or we change the business model. Too often what we do in our organizations is we don't look for congruence between various different things, okay? Looking for that congruence between what are our numbers and what are our narrative? Or what is the, the goal here and who are, we, who are we trying to treat here? What's happening here is that you have this man and you're just noticing just from one person using this product all sorts of things, right? Perhaps this should be a product that the doctors are using, right? The doctors enter the medicine, they enter the time of day. I mean, Imagine this man entering in four or five different types of medicine, and he's like, uh, I guess 415. He has no idea. That, where did that come from, right? Okay. Why does he have this password thing that he needs to do? He's getting reminders sent to him by email, right? How many times a day do you think this man is checking his email? <laughs> like, you missed your medication. Like, Perhaps there could be other types of notification. Perhaps it can go to his children, perhaps. All of these different things that we're sort of noticing that just from one person, right? So being entrepreneurial is also just by observation and taking those observations and scratching a little bit under the surface to figure out, is there something incongruent here that we're dealing with? Should we be looking at a different customer segment? Should we be looking at a different type of product? Should we be looking at different features? And so on and so forth. 